welcome to my project for ETEC 562 Technology Integration. What is RM City? RM City is a mathematic problem solving program for grades 2 through 8. The resident math expert Jeannie takes students on a program solving journey. This journey through the grade levels, student expectations, and required skills for each grade level. Students learn how to serve wall problems while following Jeannie's three basic rules. Read and understand the problem for theory. When you get to a problem, read it and understand the solution. And number three, understand and remember your notes. Now let's take a sneak peek at RM City and see exactly what happens. City. Arm City is an interactive math problem solving game for students in grades 2 through 8. I'm going to take you in through the student section so you can see what it looks like. The students enter their passcode, log on, and it takes them to a screen that is their city. Arm City consists of all of these wonderful buildings and things to do. This is Jeannie. He is the resident math expert. He gives a message to the children as they log on and then we can go from there. First is guided study. This is where the students spend most of their time. This is where they learn their math lessons, they go through the guided study practices, and they earn their points. Down here you'll notice that I have a streak of five. That means I got five questions right. And I haven't earned any bonus points yet because I just created this so you guys can see it. Wall of Mastery is exactly what it sounds. Once I've completed, or the students have completed, a section on their in their city, then they will be given problems that they can solve. And these are the teaks of how it goes in order from the beginning to the end of the skills that are required for the kids. When I want to exit, of course I touch the X. Homework. If, as a teacher, I decide to assign homework on a specific skill that the kids are having trouble with, then this is where they come to do their homework. This program is accessible from home, on their Kindles, their smartphones, or their computers. The office is where they can email or where they have been given assignments to do. Let's say that I see that someone is doing very poorly in addition work homes. I can assign them more homework in here. They go through the skills again with me at my back table in a small group, and then I can see how well they have progressed after the intervention. A game room is exactly what it sounds like. It's a game room. Addition, a math race is their favorite one where they race against a, a, an opponent in a specific kind of addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. Riddle machine, they go through riddles, division, multiplication, and dino island. The shopping mall, once I earn points, is where you can go and buy very cool stuff for your house. Uh, movies that you can watch on at certain times, things like that. So if I go into the Grand Hall, you'll notice that I can make buy a rug for my house or a plant. There's tons of different things that you can order. Obviously, I don't have enough points because I haven't played enough. The bookstore is where they can actually go in and buy books to read. That talks and that has Jeannie and his friends out on great adventures. And then, of course, I can watch movies with Jeannie and his friends that have to do This is Jeannie's house. You can come to Jeannie's house and make yourself at home. You can learn different things by clicking on stuff. The kids like to watch. They can see Jeannie's uh, pictures. They can play games, things like that with Jeannie. My place is my house. The library, if I get stuck, I can a book, watch a movie. The Great Hall is where I get to decorate my house if I have enough points. 
This will also show their accuracy for two weeks. So I have 100% accuracy because I've gotten all my points. I have 57 points. And this shows where I'm at in completing the program. It usually takes the kids about eight months to get through a program completion and then they start on the next level. Mailbox, obviously, is what it sounds like. They get to email the teacher, Jeannie, their friends. The library is where if they get stuck, they can learn about different vocabulary words, conversion tables, they can take notes. All the, if they forget what Jeannie's rules are, they can click on here and understand Jeannie's rules. Guided study. This is where the kids spend most of their time. They go through the map with a warm-up skill. Then they go through different levels of theory. They take a note test. And then they do guided study practice problems where they actually have to apply what they have learned. And they go through a review. Once they get through this entire thing, the flag goes down and they have won this particular race in Arm City. And they move on to the next level. I'm at the basic level on mine. It's called Word Problems Solved by Addition. Click the button, and it gives me a, a basic problem that I have to solve. Jeannie pops up when I get it right and gives me a wonderful, yay, you did it right. Then you move on to the next. This is Jeannie's Solutions. I require my students to write this in their journal so they know how to do it. If they don't remember what a word means and it's underlined, they can click on it and the definition will pop up for them so they can understand. Once they have written this down in their journal, if they see a, a, a me megaphone, a speaker, it will read to them. Please memorize your addition facts. 6 plus 3 equals 9. Answer 9. So, you get to go, and now I have to add this up, 8, 9, 10, 11 is my answer, and I move on. Keep continuously clicking the blue button to keep going. Again, I would have my students write this in their journal because everybody has a notebook in Orange City. And you keep going through the problems. Now, I'm in a level 8 problem. If I'm stuck and I don't understand, which number gives the sum of 3 and 5? A, 6, B, 9, The computer will C, read to them, two, so your students D, that have a trouble eight. reading, it helps them. If they don't remember, remember if it's underlined, they can click on it and it will give them the definition of the word. And if they're still stuck, they can click view a hint. And then it's going to give them a hint, of course with a speaker that will read to them. So I know the answer is 8, and Jeannie will pop up and give me a good job. And Jeannie's solution again will pop up, and they will write it down in their journal. And this process continues on until they have come to the end. Now let's say that I get a problem wrong. What list numbers least to greatest, and I pick this one. Jeannie's going to pop up and tell me, you did it wrong, read the problem more carefully and try again. I try again, and I still get it wrong. Now, it's going to take me through Jeannie's solutions, and it's going to show me exactly what I did and which one I should have picked. Here's the problem and what I chose with my incorrect answer. And now here's going to tell me the correct answer was A, and this is why. When the kids are done for the day, they X out. Yes, I want to log out. And they go back to the welcome screen. So as you can see, this is an amazing pro program for the kids to use. Just some miscellaneous information to know, RM City covers all math student expectations for intended grade levels from beginning to intermediate grades 2 through 8. It takes the students approximately 8 months to complete a grade level curriculum, and there are also STAR readiness lessons that you can use to help your students prepare for STAR. 
Lesson plans are based on your students' needs. While I used it in my classroom, we would, mark, we would work 30 minutes a day. During that time, I would monitor and pull small groups or individuals for intervention based on their accuracy of a specific grade level. Students in my classroom were given five stickers for every time they answered, a correct, uh, answered five in a row correctly, and then for every 10 stickers, they earned a treasure box. I feel this math lesson plan program is developed on Kolb's in experimental learning design. The way the program is set up, students experience math in a concrete way as they actively participate, followed by a reflection piece, how did I get this answer wrong, then moving on to a more abstract piece when they apply the knowledge they acquire during the guided study questions level A. Finally, taking them to their newly learned skills and applying them to harder questions in the B and C level. As you can see, RM City is a fantastic program to use with your students. I hope you decide to give it a chance. Thank you.